The desires of this world are like sea water. The more you drink of them, the more you thirst. Deliver us, O Allah, from the sea of names. From my insufficiency to my perfection and from my deviation to my equilibrium. From my sublimity to my beauty. And from my splendor to my majesty. From my scattering to my gathering. And from my rejection to my communion. From my baseness to my preciousness. And from my stones to my pearls. From my rising to my setting. And from my days to my nights. From my luminosity to my darkness. And from my guidance to my straying. From my perigee to my apogee. And from the base of my lance to its tip. From my waxing to my waning. And from the void of my moon to its crescent. From my pursuit to my flight. And from my steed to my gazelle. From my breeze to my bows. And from my bows to my shade. From my shade to my delight. And from my delight to my torment. From my torment to my likeness. And from my likeness to my impossibility. From my impossibility to my validity. And from my validity to my deficiency. I am no one in existence but myself.
If it had not been for this love, the universe would not have appeared in its source. Its movement from non-existence to existence is the movement of the love of the one who brings into existence for this purpose. The universe also loves to witness itself in existence as it was witnessed in immutability. Thus, by every aspect, the movement from immutable non-existence to the existence of the sources is a movement of love. Both in respect of Allah and in respect to itself. I was wedded to all the stars of the sky. There was not a single star left. And I married every one of them with great spiritual pleasure. Then I married the moon. In this I conform to my usual manner of thinking in symbols. This because the things of the invisible world attract me more than those of actual life. I saw divinity with the eye of the heart. I said, Who are you? It said, You. Absolute existence is the source of all existence. Those to whom God remains veiled, praise to the God who in their belief is their Lord to have compassion with them. But the intuitive mystics ask 
that the divine compassion be fulfilled or come into being and exist through them. Prayer is the highest form, the supreme act of the creative imagination. The teacher is one who hears you then unveils you to yourself. The universe is its own veil on itself and cannot perceive the truth since it perceives itself. It is continuously in a veil which is not removed since it knows that it is distinct from its creator by its need of him. It has no portion of that essential necessity which belongs to the existence of Allah so it can never perceive him. In this respect, Allah is never fully known by the knowledge of tasting and witnessing because the in time has no hold on that. The world is imagination, yet in reality it is real. The absolute reality is now as it has always been. It is the one without oneness and the single without singleness. It is not composed of name and named. There is no name or named other than that. That is the first without firstness. and the last without lastness.
It is the apparent without appearance. And the hidden without hiddenness.